Hello, everyone. Uh, today I wanted to show you how to add a you know, default domain to the Active Directory as the, you know, for the user principal name. So if we go to the Active Directory on premise, we are using the hybrid environment, which I have a domain controller in the, you know, local Active Directory domain. The name is w2j16.local. So I wanted to add another domain I created, you know, in public DNS to this domain. So let's see how can we do this. Normally we go to the uh, start menu and then go to Windows Administrative Tools and then we just uh, open the, you know, Active Directory domains and uh, trusts. Then we right click this the top active directory domain and the trusts and then we click properties. Then we can just add a domain you need. So just add now. So I add this one and then click OK. So now we add a domain to this uh to the list and then we when we go to the active directory we create a new user account then let's see we create a new user account just put the name as Bob Winter, I just put the name as Bob Winter. Then we can select the, you know, the name we have already added in the, you know, active uh, domain and the trusts. So it's showing here in the list, we select this one. And then we go to next. And then put the, you know, password in. Okay, I put this password in, then I just uh, also want to add this one to the uh, Active Directory to get a license, so I just click add. So I create a security group, the AG underscore face underscore 365E5 license group, so I just add it now, and then click OK, click so if I go to the account, I see this user principal name is bob.winter at ccq2020.com.au. So I just click apply, click OK. And then if I go to the manually, you know, synchronize the user to the cloud. Let's see if I do this now. So synchronize is successful. Then we go to Office 365. Go to Office 365. We go to the active users. Then I just uh, refresh. It's not yet. It's, yeah, doing refresh. So, so you see Bob Winter now is uh, showing now, is showing up in the list, and uh, the user name is bob.winter at ccq2020.com.au. And after a while, you should get a, Bob Winter should get a, a license because I have already added this user to the group. So if I just refresh again, 
You see, Bob Winter also get the E5 license because I add the user to the, the security group. Okay, thank you. That's all I show you for today, thanks.